it's been a long time. Yeah, pretty much. I got this new spiffy water filter bottle from the awesome Emily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, school starts next week. Fail. School starts next week. I guess you fail, as you say. Exactly. But I get to go back to Tampa. Win. Exactly. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't get to go to Tampa. Yeah. Well, you should transfer to HCC and come to Tampa. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a really busy summer here, singing almost, literally almost every day. And so, yeah. <laughs> I have a gig tonight, actually, even. So nice. Where I don't ever get a break. Rasher Tierney's. Oh, nice. I think I might come out then. You should. I it's should. A, it's a, an acoustic open mic night, so it's not really a gig, oh, yeah, <laughs> per you, se. But. You told me that yesterday, but I forgot. Yeah, I put it on my Facebook yeah. page thing. But, yeah, it sucks with all the singing because um, it's taking a toll on my voice, so I have to watch, like how I talk, I have to make sure I talk soft-spoken. <laughs> yeah. And so I haven't really gone to karaoke in a really long time. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been since like, well, I went with um, Jason's girlfriend, Morgan, but I didn't. Oh yeah, to Tequila Beach. Yeah. Which I don't, yeah. I don't even remember why you didn't come. I forget. Um, I don't know if I knew you were going. I don't remember. I think I had invited you, but you had, were like on a date or something already with Robbie? Um. Uh, I don't know. No, that's. It might have been because I was singing somewhere, but. I don't remember. Yeah. It was something. Yeah, and if I do go to karaoke, I would probably be back at a little bit of coffee just because, like, they have that outside area, so when I'm not singing, I could be in that outside area and still hear what's going on, but not have to talk. Yeah. Everything. I haven't been to Lebanon, like, since, like, January. I went in April for open mic night, and I just, like, well, I wasn't going to sing, but they had people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> one of my friends is just like, hey, we should sing something together. I'm like, okay, I'll sing something. <laughs> sure. And it turned out really cool. Nice. So. But I haven't been since. Because, yeah. I don't know, like, I don't really like coffee and like I've never been to a coffee place that makes good hot chocolate yeah <laughs> so yeah love does taste kind of funky but yeah if you like Starbucks hot chocolate you probably like love does hot chocolate too yeah and they have um they have shakes but they're not really shakes I don't think yeah so I'll get like vitamin water when I go there yeah that's what I usually get Although I hear vitamin water isn't as actually isn't actually as healthy as they make it out to be, but I don't get it for the health. I just get it for like the fact that it's tasty, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I've never had it, so yeah, it's it's like Gatorade except not as flavorful. Yeah, I'd rather drink Gatorade than yeah. I don't know. Like I used to hate Propel and love Gatorade, but now I um. Telephone ringing. It was ringing, but I accidentally ended the call. <laughs> oh well. Um, I lost my train of thought, okay. and I'm saying um too much. <laughs> Did they seriously just put a rotary down in downtown Sarasota? Oh yeah, I need to get a passport because I want to cruise to Bahamas. Oh nice. In a karaoke contest. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. They can't stop playing with this bottle. <laughs> up so you can drink that. I understand. <laughs> I thought you just took this off. I guess you have to pull this up too. Yeah. Good to know before I went and tried to drink out of it. <laughs> it's exciting. I've never had my water filter before. Nice. I've never, um, like I told you earlier, I'd never ever ever wanted to drink out of the faucet in the dorm. Yeah. That's really gross. Pretty much. Like the water smells gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we went to Grenada and we, we stayed in um, the dorms at the medical school over there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the water smelled nasty. Ooh. Thankfully, Dad got me like a, a, um, a, 
one of those kind of bottles. Oh, you've had these before. Well, it was a different brand, but... I thought this was like a new innovative technology or something, whatever they're called. <laughs> like, an advanced brand new thing to the market. Well, you know like the Brita filters, the pitcher things? Yeah. That's the same basic concept, the filters just in the bottle, oh. basically. Well, yeah, but the filter doesn't like filter as you pour because like the right. spout like is open. <laughs> right. But yeah, um, we I ha I used one of those for the first time when I went to Orlando with a friend, and they really worked amazingly. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this tastes so clear. <laughs> which is which is good because um, I like to drink hot water for my voice, so the imp ugh, the impurities I like they come out more. The taste of the impurities come out more in the hot water, I think, than cold water. Yeah. Can, like mask it more. So this will be really good. Kind of yeah. handy at school too because um like the water fountains at MCC are like so disgusting. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you take at school? <laughs> even Boring though, classes. Even though we discussed this <laughs> prior to recording. Um I'm taking a writing class, a lit class, like because I'm a creative writing major. I wish I wasn't because I hate that major. There's like eight literature classes and like three writing classes throughout the whole curriculum, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah. But I'm taking a literature class, a writing class for fiction, form and technique of fiction, and feminist ethics, and classics and Christian thought. Nice. So those last two seem like the type of classes that look interesting. But then you like get into it, and it's like gonna be the most extremely boring thing ever. Yeah. At least like you have a scholarship and you can take as many interesting classes as you want. Taking math, English, um, religion in America, um, something. Um, oh, U.S. history. I forget what else I'm taking. There's one more, I think. But yeah. Oh, did you ever find out you were having US? Oh, wait, I already asked you that. Yeah. Because there's I... two professors there's Douglas Scott, of course, and there's uh, John Peter Paul or something like that. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't find Douglas. I couldn't find him. Maybe he stopped teaching it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, because when I looked for him, I couldn't find him. But yeah, um, Professor Paul, I guess it's like John Peter Paul or something like that. Yeah. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Although there's this one girl that took one of, I think his like, re um, religion or s class or something. Hmm. And, um, like, e every class she was like, I have to pray before every class and get spiritually protected before every class, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, really? Okay. okay. Okay, that's not weird at all. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but... Well... Yeah, because she was, she, like, every time she'd go into that class, she was like, I feel like I'm being spiritually attacked, blah, 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 and I'm like, then drop the class. <laughs> you know? Yeah, if I, if I was having some kind of, like, a spiritual issue by taking a class, I probably wouldn't want to keep taking the class. I know, and I'm like, why are you taking it then if you feel like you're being spiritually attacked you know but whatever that one made me scratch my head a little bit oh <laughs> summer's been busy and fun i had no i um was like a zombie last week because like literally the hours i woke up every day was like um 7 30 last sunday then oh wait no not last sunday like Okay, today's August 6th, 7th, I think it's no. the 19th, isn't it? It's the 18th, because it's, um, check-in day, like, people are checking into dorms now and stuff. Uh -huh. I'm not yet, but anyway. Um, and this started August, uh, what was that Sunday? August 8th. So, my hours for that whole week were 7.30 a.m. that I woke up, and 11.30 a.m., or no, 11 a.m., <laughs> and then, um, 6 a.m. 
then five, about 5.30 a.m. because 6 a.m. to go to the airport, 5.30 a.m. to her American Idol auditions, and then um, like 8.50 to go back to the airport the next day to leave, and then the next day, 4.30 in the morning, because I had to be in Arcadia for 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock audition, um, and then the next day it was 7.30, because I had to get back there for top 10 at 10.30. And so by this past Sunday, I was just like, oh, thank God for sleeping in. Exactly. <laughs> but that Saturday, I was just like a zombie. And I, I don't remember most of the day, actually. I don't remember competing that much. I remember being on stage, but I don't remember much of how it went or anything. Where did American Idol go anyway? Yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> if I did make it, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. But since I can not tell, obviously, Nothing could happen. So. Yeah. But, but we'll see how the MySpace auditions go. Yeah, I kind of find it dumb that you can't really talk about it if you get in. Yeah, because, I mean, if you make it. But well, this time, you know? they're deleting their posts off their Facebook and they're, like, suddenly not saying anything at all to anyone about American Idol. Hmm, I wonder. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, you say, I can't talk about it, which is basically like, why don't you just say yes, because it's kind of obvious. Yeah. But that's what I'm gonna, that's the conclusion I come up, I come with, if somebody were to tell me that, they can't tell me. Yeah. I mean, if I ever auditioned, even if I didn't get in, I would be like, I can't talk about it, you know. It's because it's <laughs> like... They, it's like if the, you can't talk about it if if you do get in, then you should they should tell you not to talk about it if you don't get in. Yeah. You know? But I mean, the, the people who don't make it, like, they don't tell you not to talk about it or anything. They don't tell you that the people who do make it don't get to talk about it. So yeah. they don't really know the whole process behind, like, what do you do. But I hate when they tell us the standard is very high, and that's why. Really? You know, yeah, that's a speech that they give almost every time. They're like, we have good vocals in this group, but the standards are pretty high this year, so I'll, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to pass. Really? Like, the standards are high, like, William Ong high, okay, like... And, the, and then they tell you the top 24, and half of them are shitty. <laughs> what? I don't know, I haven't... I haven't watched American Idol for the last two years. I refused to watch it last season. Yeah. I have no idea what went on. I don't even remember the guy's name that won. Yeah, same here. Well, I remember his name, but I had, for the longest time, I had to, like, when they said Lee DeWiz or whatever, I'm like, who's that? I didn't like him. Oh. I, I've never heard him sing in my life. I have no idea. He's okay, but, eh. I heard the girl, Crystal Bowersox or something. Yeah, I she was good. Yeah. I liked her. A lot of people liked her. But other than that, I don't know. Well, Aaron Kelly, because like when I did, I won the dream, the Disney dream ticket again. Mm -hmm. So, but he got a dream ticket last year, and he was actually in line with me when I auditioned. Oh, so nice. I know that he heard me sing because when we were going to audition in Orlando, um, all the dream ticket people were sitting there, and they're like, "Someone should sing something." So I just kind of got up and sang my thing, and everybody's like, "Yay!" Nice. So I'm like, wow, Aaron Kelly was there, so he heard me sing. <laughs> <laughs> so I know who he is, but other than those three, I don't know. Yeah. I can't even remember who won the year before. Was that the year of Adam Lambert? I think, or I think it was the Davids the year before. David oh. Archuleta and David something. Oh no, I watched that season. So it was like the year before last year. So like, was that the year of Chris Allen and? I don't even remember who won, because yeah. like, I thought Adam Lambert won, but then somebody told me, like, no, it's Chris Allen. I don't even remember who that is. Oh. Yeah, I didn't really, I don't really keep up with American Idol. Like, I don't know at all. The only time I did was when I made the second round, so, um, I wanted to see how many people that, because like, when you make the second round, all your family comes, or can come, and all that stuff, like, I don't know, but, um. I wanted to see who I recognized, or who my family recognized. Mm 